Hey guys, we're back in the kitchen and today we're gonna make one of my favorite breakfasts. Hey guys, welcome back to Jen's Lounge. We are back in the kitchen again. We are cooking breakfast number two. Um, this is one of my favorite breakfasts to make. I think me and my buddy Tyler made it up when we were in college and we've just kind of been perfecting it ever since. But every time I go home to visit my family back in Pennsylvania, no matter if it's Thanksgiving morning or Christmas morning, they make me make this breakfast for them before we even have like Thanksgiving or Christmas dinner. So, um, you know, it's very, very simple and very, very, I would say, delicious, but also very, very unhealthy. So probably not going to be an every weekend, every day breakfast for you. But all you're gonna need is some bacon, some hash browns, you can use tater tots if you want, a little bit of uh, shredded cheese of any kind that you really like, some eggs, and some maple syrup. So I have no idea what I'm gonna call this, but for now the title of this video is probably gonna be like, my favorite breakfast. Um, and all you wanna do is you wanna get some bacon going in a frying pan. And now I like to cut up the bacon, you know, just cause it's easier to fry. I think it fries a little more evenly and it gets extra crispy, which is kind of what I'm looking for in this recipe. If you're only cooking for two people, you do not need to do a whole slab of bacon, but we are making more breakfast anyways. So I'm gonna cut up this whole thing. So once you get your bacon cut up, you wanna throw it in a frying pan on medium heat. You're not gonna need any oil because the bacon is full of fat and it's kinda of gonna grease itself up. Probably takes a good 10, 15 minutes on the stove. We're gonna run a little montage while this bacon cooks up. All right, you guys, so once your bacon is done, you wanna drain the bacon fat from the bacon. Now, I would recommend doing this over a sink but for video purposes, I'm gonna do it over my countertop. Try not to get any of the bacon bits in there. You're gonna to wanna to save the bacon fat. All right, guys, so once you got the bacon resting in a paper towel, kind of trying to get a little bit of the grease off of it, which isn't gonna make a difference for this because it's not gonna be very healthy anyways, um, you either grab a new pan or you clean out this one. So that's what we're gonna do right now. All right guys, once you clean your pan, you want to take the bacon fat that you rendered from the bacon and add it back into the pan. And then we are going to fry the hash browns in the bacon fat. Now if you want to make this a little healthier, you don't necessarily have to do it this way, but this adds a lot of flavor. And like I said, it's kind of a splurge meal. So go all out. You always want to put the hash browns in falling away from you so no hot oil splashes up on you and burns the crap out of you. Now when you put the oil in, you want to give it a little bit of time to heat up because you don't want to put a hash brown into a cold oil pan because it's just going to soak up all the oil and it's going to be very, very greasy. So once you see, you know, you look at the oil, you kind of see it doing a little dance that's when you want to throw the hash browns in. So you want to give the hash browns about two minutes on each side so they're nice golden brown and crispy because that's going to be your base for the dish. All right, as you can see, that's nice and crispy. That's what you're looking for. You just want to set it on a paper towel. All right, guys, so we got our pan oiled up with some bacon fat. Now we're going to make two sunny side up eggs. So the key to a good sunny side up egg is to get it in the pan on low heat. And once you get the two eggs in the pan, just throw a lid on it. So it's gonna steam the top of the egg and slowly cook the bottom so the yolk stays yolky, because that's what you want. You want a nice yolky egg. All right, guys, so while your eggs are cooking, you wanna grab your hash browns from the paper towel that they were sitting on, throw them on a plate, and now this is the fun part. Grab a little bit of your shredded cheese, kinda of drizzle that on there. Now, like I said, you can get a little fancy with it and use some block cheese and shred it yourself if you want to. We were a bit lazy in college when we made this dish, so it's always been Mexican shredded cheese because we were making quesadillas a lot. Um, you know, grab some of your bacon, throw that on. So like I said, it's not gonna be the healthiest dish, but it's got a lot of the components that I love, so it's a kind of a sweet, savory, uh, a little bit of salt in there. So, you know, you're getting a lot of different flavors coming at you in one little bite, but. So once your eggs are done cooking, then you're gonna wanna throw that on top of this right here. All right, you guys, so once your eggs are done, 
you know, you want a nice, even, you want the whites to set up, but you want the yolk to still be yolky, so you, when you crack it open, it kind of drenches the whole dish. So, let's see if we can get this out of the pan. And then we will throw it onto the... So now this hot egg is gonna melt the cheese, gonna warm up the bacon, gonna get the whole dish going. And then, to finish it off, just wanna do a light drizzle of maple syrup. If you're not a fan of sweet and savory, you can hold off on the syrup, but I think it just makes it that much better. And there you go. This is one of my favorite breakfast dishes. I recommend you guys try it at home. Um, it will definitely impress anyone. I did make it for my fiance the first time she happened to sleep over, and she is my fiance now, so I guess it worked out pretty well. If I had one brunch dish to go to, this would be it. Thank you guys for watching. We have one more recipe coming your way. If you haven't checked out Avocado Toast yet, I'll have a link to it right after this video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like us on Instagram, at Jens Lounge, hashtag your pictures, hashtag Jens Lounge, and uh, let us know what you want us to cook next in the comments below. Cheers, guys. You know, sometimes I do poached eggs, sometimes I do eggs sunny side up. Um, today we're gonna do sunny side up eggs because I'm not gonna attempt to do a poached egg on camera. So. Here we go. Now the key to a good sunny side up egg is to not break the Yo. 